I'm Stephen Homer. I'm a photographer from San Francisco. I got into photography probably four or five years ago when I moved to the city. Um, I actually got sober when I came here, so I'd kind of been coming from some just some rough years. I just had a lot of time on my hands and I'd always kind of liked the look of film photography. So I went to a pawn shop and got a Pentax and just started kind of messing around with it. And it was kind of a way for me to like find my way around a new city. Um, I just always had a camera with me and that was kind of a, a thing that I did when I was taking the bus everywhere, you know? Photography was something that was really soothing to me when I first started doing it. Even before I had like an eye for it or whatever, it was just something that was, uh, it kept my mind busy and it kind of like was cathartic in some kind of way. I shoot a little bit of everything. I kind of shoot some urban stuff in the city. I like to shoot at the beach a lot. I guess I shoot things that kind of suit the color palette and stuff that I'm interested in. I try to capture like more pastoral elements of San Francisco. You know, like I said, when I started getting into photography, it was kind of because I was like taking the bus everywhere and getting to know the city. I kind of would shoot things as I saw them kind of walking around and experiencing the city. So I like, you know, people at fruit stands and trees around a house. Like, I don't know, it's not really that complex, I guess, but it's just stuff that I see while I'm walking around and, and yeah. vibes I try to capture in my photography kind of mirror the type of music that I listen to. Um, so I've always been really inspired by that. Music is one thing. Certain directors have really inspired me like Paul Thomas Anderson and Dario Argento. I was really inspired, you know, initially by Ed Templeton. Um, I grew up skating and watching skate videos and he kind of started getting into photography and some of these other skaters were getting into making art and stuff. And that was kind of orig originally where I, you know, where I first got into photography was from looking at some of their stuff. I use mainly a Pentax K1000 with a 50 millimeter lens, like probably 80% of my shots are on a Pentax K1000. Pretty standard stuff. I like it because it's just a workhorse, it's not too fussy, you can shoot it without a battery. I also have a Olympus Stylus Epic, which I really like as my point and shoot. I'll occasionally use a rangefinder, but I'm not that into that, and I pretty much stick to those two cameras. I also have a Pentax ME Super from my dad from the 80s that I use every once in a while. Yeah, I use almost entirely Portra 400, Portra 800, and some Color Plus 200.
I guess it's not really specific photos. I shoot a lot when I travel. So I guess I think about it more in terms of like where the photos were taken. So I think it's stuff from certain trips, right? So like I really love all the shots that I took in Hong Kong because it's just such an incredible experience. There's a real nostalgia attached to it for me. I like a lot of the shots that I take kind of in rural Utah, just because that's kind of where my family comes from. So it's like meaningful to me in that sense. I mean, I think I just look for stuff that's all kind of a similar vibe, you know? I kind of will just scan through, like when I get a rollback, I'll just be flipping through it. I find shots that all kind of have a similar color scheme and like palette, you know? Out of a roll of 36 exposures, like I'll typically kind of go through and take out 10 and then from that 10 break it down to like five and that's usually what I use for my portfolio. Uh, well, I'd really like to learn a little more about shooting portraits. That's something I haven't really gotten into yet uh, that I find interesting. And I also would really like to start experimenting with medium and large format, something I haven't really gotten into either. I only shoot 35 millimeters, so just kind of branching out into those other films and, you know, um, yeah. Cool. Get this fucking thing off me.